Hello there, guys. Sorry for this messy lighting back here. Um, I will show you now uh, how to make uh, the installation of the macOS Sequoia by using OpenCore Patcher the right way to do not lose the touch bar on MacBook Pros that has the touch bar I think uh, from to 20, uh, 2016 2017 in my case it's a MacBook Pro from 2017 with a Core i7 dual-core processor I had this issue and I uh, I started to look for a solution on the web and there were no videos but I found uh, the solution for for my problem on the open core uh, page and I will show you now how I did it I'll change to my camera here that is pointed to the to the MacBook screen so what you need to do is very simple you will come over here on disk utility and continue so what we need to do here uh, is come over to this screen okay from the disk utility on on the the, the first menu and down to the container disk you will find some uh, partition uh, in my case is macOS data but you can have other names and uh, you are going to format it in AT, APFS okay let written as macOS you never do you you can never do a clean installation by erasing the whole SSD because by doing that um, you will erase the touch bar firmware and then you will lose some other um, functions as the touch ID and as uh, the keyboard brightness control right okay so um, after that you can continue with the installation and you can do all the rest okay so here it is and you can install and after that uh, the touch bar will work if you notice the touch bar keeps um, showing up some information in this case the the escape um, key all right I'm very sorry for this dirty screen and that's it that should work if you already made a uh, clean installation you will need to um, you will need to format again into some other uh, native OS in this case for this computer the last one is the Mac OS Ventura right but it is compatible in this example the 2017 is compatible from High Sierra to uh, Mojave, Catalina, Big Sur, uh, Monterey, and Ventura. So if you install any of those systems, uh, they will automatically reinstall the firmware for uh, Touch Bar and the Touch ID and the keyboard, right? And after that, you can do as I as I showed you. So that's it. Here it is. Uh, 
macOS Sequoia running on a 2017 MacBook Pro. You can see here. Um, and here is the touch bar fully functioning. So if I open up Safari, um, you will see all the controls are popping up and showing very, very easily. So um, it is perfect. And uh, let me close this. That's it. Follow me for more tips. Bye.